attached to two bones may well be a ligament. Well, David, uh, last night, you know, you brought Abra onto the show. <laughs> it was very exciting. Um, but uh, we're still going to say in Sweden, but maybe not so musical. No, a little more criminal uh, tonight, Richard. And uh, the story is set in Stockholm, the capital of Sweden, in 1973. Uh, there was a man just released from prison, and his name was Jan Olsen. And he strolled into the credit bank in, uh, in Stockholm and he held four people hostage very quickly because the police were surrounding the square and he realised that he couldn't escape. So then he set demands uh, to see these four hostages unharmed and they included a bulletproof vest, a large sum of money, a very fast car and his best mate, Clark Olufsen. <laughs> now, so how many of these did he get? He only got the one and that was Clark Olufsen. <laughs> he didn't get the others. So suddenly it was Clark and Jan in the bank surrounded by the police and they were there for six days with four hostages. Wow, so they would have um, <clears throat> got to know their hostages quite well. They did and uh, as the police were kind of trying to breach the bank using uh, drilling and even gas at one stage, in fact the hostages became a little more affectionate and gravitated towards uh, the rights and the uh, aspirations of the uh, captors, the robbers. Rather than the police. That's exactly right. And that, now this syndrome has come to be called Stockholm Syndrome, uh, which has got nothing to do with being locked into a uh, IKEA furniture <laughs> store and coming to like the furnishings, <laughs> but everything to do with this idea of just, you know, looking towards the, uh, the captor as being more the sort of hero of the story. That's remarkable because I had heard the phrase before, but I, I had no idea it referred to you know, an actual situation in Stockholm. So Sweden has given us not just ABBA, but a very infamous grabber as well. <laughs> very nice, David. <laughs> Great story. Let's have a look at those scores. Richard is on eight. Alan is on 20. More letters, please, from uh, you, Richard. Yes, can I have a consonant, please? Thank you. S. And a vowel, please. E. And a consonant, please. N. And a vowel. I. And a consonant, please. F. A vowel, please. O. A consonant. D. A consonant, please. T. And a vowel, please. And last letter, E. Time starts now. Letters, Richard? Uh, a bit better than last time. Uh, How many? Just got a six. A six for you, Alan? I'll continue with a parasite theme with an eight. An eight? Okay, that sounds good. Let's have your six first, though, Richard. Uh, finest. And uh, Alan's finest? Infested. Infested. Oh, that's a beauty. It's final and finest, and again, you've got that parasite theme. It's a lovely play. Excellent eight. Uh, softened is a little more palatable as an eight there. That's a nice eight as well. Eight points for Alan. Let's get some more letters, and uh, Alan. Thank you, Richard. Can I start with a vowel, please, Ali? Thank you. You. And another vowel. I. And another vowel. A. And I'll go with a consonant, please. L. And another consonant. T. And another consonant, please. M. And another consonant, please. C. And a vowel, please. E. And I'll finish with a consonant, please. And last letter, R. Thanks, Lily. 30 seconds on the clock. Seven. And Richard? I got seven as well. 
Let's have yours, please. Uh, climate. And yours, Alan? Miracle. A couple of very nice sevens, David. Yeah, uh, excellent. Uh, good play. And what did you manage to find in the slot? Well, this game is all about inches. And I've just uh, crept ahead with an eight. Uh, as Alan had forecast with metrical is there. Very nice indeed. Seven each, though, for Alan and Richard. Well, let's head back to the numbers again now. And uh, Richard, Alan has been addicted to the heavyweight combination while he's been around. Do you have... Uh... Something you'd like to go for? I'm a little more lightweight, to be honest. Um, <laughs> I'll go for the family mix, please, early. Thanks, Richard. That's too large. And four smalls. And starting with the smalls, ten, two, eight, seven, and the two large, 25 and 75. The target to reach is 639. Away we go. Describe as a lightweight. Uh, I think I got 637. 637, great work. Only two away. Alan? Uh, 639. You are on the target. Well done. Tell us what you did. Uh, Lily, 8 times 75 is 600, I hope. 8 times 75 is 600. Plus 25 is Plus 625. 20, 65. Uh, we're 14 away, so to make that 7 times 2. 7 by 2 is 14. And add it together is 639. 639, all well done. Very nice. Actually, you know, Lily, I think alan has been with us for so long now, he's even picking up your speech mannerisms. You know, <laughs> we're 14 away, so now we take the two by the seven. <laughs> Perfect work. Did it's, you do it the same way? Yeah, exactly the same way. And it, it went through my head exactly the same way as well. We're, we're 14 away, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> do you think Alan got the inflection right? You know? Yeah, I, mean, I, think he, I think he did fantastically well. Forget the total, got to get the inflection. Great work for Alan. He scored 10 points. So Richard's on 15, Alan is on 45 as we head for another break and another word mix, this time scam hair. And the clue, a charming mum. Back soon. <laughs>